so welcome back everyone now many of us have tried the dual boot like with windows 10 alongside with windows 11 or windows with any kind of linux distro like kali or ubuntu or dual booting windows with any kind of chrome os so in this video i will be showing you that how you can completely remove the dual boot if using two different version of windows or dual booting windows with linux or chrome os so now if you're using the dual boot with two different version of windows like windows 10 and 11 like on my end you can see i'm using the two dual boot with windows 10 and 11 so it's very simple just log into your machine whichever is your primary operating system like on my end windows 11 is my primary operating system so i will log in and once you get logged in you need to make a right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you will have to click on disk management in the disk management you will find two different partition here now windows c that is my main partition that contains windows 11 which is my primary operating system and another partition that i have created was for windows 10 so what i can do the second partition that i added to my main partition i can right click on it and click on delete volume now the moment i click on delete volume the windows 10 will be completely removed from my machine and from future whenever i restart my computer it will only boot up with the windows operating system if you're not sure then you can bring up the file explorer go to this pc and here also you will find the different partitions now why is it simple because in the two different version of windows you are not downloading or installing any kind of grub loader so it's very simple okay so what i can do i can right click on it and click on delete volume click on yes now i have the 39.06 unallocated space so i don't want to waste it so again i can make a right click on windows c click on extend volume click on next next and finish and all the space from that partition where we installed the windows 10 now it's been merged to windows c in case if you are not able to extend the partition from here then you can use a third party tool that is mini tool partition wizard all right so this was the scenario if you are using the dual boot with the two different version of windows and even let me show you if i restart my computer now so now it will be directly loading up with windows 11 and it will not show me the dual boot screen and here it is now you can see it's logging into my windows 11 account as windows 10 has been completely removed and now let's see that if you're dual booting your windows with a different operating system like linux or chrome os then what you will have to do first you need to log out from your uh, linux or chrome os and you have to log in with your main and primary operating system that is your windows so what you can do you can restart the computer again And the next time when you boot the computer, you will be again getting the dual boot screen that will either show you the Ubuntu or the Chrome OS, whichever you are using. Now here you have to select the Windows Boot Manager, that is your primary operating system. So select Windows Boot Manager and let the windows boot up. And once the windows has been loaded, again right click on the windows icon, then you have to select Disk Management and in the disk management again it will show your windows partition that will be c probably and then it will show you another partition where you have installed the ubuntu now you have to look for this partition in case if you are not sure that which partition contains the ubuntu then in that case you will have to log in with the ubuntu again open up the terminal and here you have to type a simple command that will be sudo space fdisk space dash l now here you have to look for the partition and the size and then you can delete the partition but if you are able to decide and know from your windows only that which partition is for the ubuntu then again you need to make a right click on it and click on delete volume click on yes again you can see this unallocated space has been created so we don't have to waste it so make a right click on the c drive click on extend volume click on next I will take the full space so click on next and finish all right now here we are done only with one step now next what you will have to do you also need to delete the ubuntu from the boot configuration so click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up 
now here you have to type a simple command that will be bcd edit space forward slash enum space firmware all right all these commands you will find in the description so you can also copy and paste now hit the enter key now this will display all kind of firmware application and you have to look for the one that contains the ubuntu so on my end you can see this firmware contains the ubuntu operating system so look for the right firmware and then on the top of it you will find the identifier so you need to copy this identifier select it press ctrl c to copy it and now in order to delete it now you will have to type bcd edit space forward slash delete give a space and make a right click to paste the identifier number then simply hit the enter key and it will say the operation completed successfully so again if you run the same command that is bcd edit enum space firmware so you will find that the ubuntu has been removed from the firmware here okay now we are only remaining with the final step where you have to type disk part hit the enter key once you will be in the disk part the next command will be list disk so that we can list all kind of disk on this machine and it will show you that you have only one disk we have to select it so type select disk zero if you have multiple disk then select the right disk where you have dual boot the windows and the ubuntu or chrome os hit the enter key again now once the disk has been selected now we need to list all kind of volume partition created in this disk so for that you have to type list space vol and hit the enter key now it will list you all kind of volume all kind of partition that has been created on your this disk now here you have to find out the efi partition and if you are not sure if you are not able to find from here then again right click on the windows icon click on disk management and here you have to look for the efi partition and you can see it says 100 mb efi system partition all right so this is the one that you have to look for and you can identify by the size of this partition that is 100 mb and if i come back to the command prompt so you can see this is the one 100 mb all right so once you find out the efi partition now you have to select it and in order to select type select volume and the number of the volume that is volume 2 so i will type 2 and once the volume is being selected now you have to type assign space letter equal sign z and colon hit the enter key again now you can type exit and then we can come to the z partition that we assigned so type z colon type dir again hit the enter key then type cd space efi so we have selected the efi again type dir to display all the directories and here also you can see there is a directory of the ubuntu here so now we have to delete it so type cd space ubuntu so that we can select it sorry i made a mistake cd space ubuntu and once the ubuntu will be selected type rm dir space forward slash s space ubuntu now we are selecting the ubuntu here but in case if you are using the kali then you have to replace the ubuntu name with the kali all right and similarly if you are using the chrome os then you can replace the name that i am typing ubuntu with that particular name so the procedure will be same only you have to replace the name of the operating system all right so once you have typed rmdir space s ubuntu again hit the enter key then you have to say are you sure then you have to press the y key again hit the enter key now in case if you get this message the system cannot find the file specified then you have to type cd dot dot go back type dir again it will display all the directories and now from here we can delete this directory that is been by the name ubuntu so again it can be by the name kali or any other linux distro or any other kind of chrome os so again type the same command rmdir space forward slash s space and then type the name of this directory so on my end it's ubuntu so i will type ubuntu hit the enter key press the y key again hit the enter key and now it's all been done 
okay so now if i close it so we have successfully removed the dual board from this machine and if i go ahead and restart the computer so now you can see that we did not got any kind of dual board screen and it directly take to my uh, primary operating system that is windows 11 and if i bring up the file explorer go to this pc so you can see that all the changes are being reverted now we have only one partition that is local disk c where our main operating system is being installed all right so that's all guys for today this was the best and the easiest way to remove the dual boot completely from your windows pc and laptop and if you found this video useful guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye